NASA, L cross, a hit, but impact invisible? NASA's much anticipated L cross mission sent two spacecraft bombing into the moon early this morning. The craft successfully struck their target, a crater thought to harbor frozen water. But the much hyped moon show that had been expected to come with the impact, however, turned out to be a flop, a fizzle. No billowing plumes of dust and ice visible through backyard telescopes are on NASA TV. The low impact impact had one NASA expert musing that El Cross may have struck a dry hole. At 7.31 a.m. Eastern Time, a 2.2 ton empty rocket shot from the L-Cross probe hit the crater on the moon's south pole. Four minutes later, L-Cross Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite performed its own kamikaze dive, the final act in its mission to detect evidence of water ice in the moon's shadowed craters. We saw the impact, NASA says, and whether or not sky watchers could see the L cross crashes, NASA insists that they happened. I can certainly report that there was an impact, said the L cross principal investigator at a NASA press conference this morning. We saw the impact and we saw the crater. When the rocket crashed into the moon, though, cameras and L cross registered no discernible change in the crater, at least to the eye. It was hard to tell what we saw there, said the science director of NASA Ames Research Center in California during live coverage on NASA TV. A closer inspection of L cross impact images, though, has revealed a small white speck that scientists think is the debris thrown up by the first crash. But it will take some time for scientists to determine whether it is evidence of water on the moon, NASA says. Not going to say anything about water or no water, but we got the data that we need to address the question, said the L Cross principal investigator. For many amateur astronomers who got up there early to watch the crashes through telescopes or on NASA TV. The crashes were a bit disappointing. We had telescopes as wide as 32 inches, 81 centimeters, and nothing was seen, said the Vice President of the Salt Lake Astronomical Society in Utah. So, why was nothing seen? The moon is very high in the sky, right on the meridian, he said. It's perfectly placed right above Orion. If anyone would have had a shot of seeing it, it was us. Despite the disappointment, he said just after impacts, the mood is good. Several hundred miles west in San Diego, California, there is or there was some debate about whether the impacts had been visible from Earth. We have some people who say they saw it, but that could be the result of what he called an imagination filter, said Bob Austin, president of the San Diego Astronomy Association. In other words, yes, wishful thinking. On the United States East Coast, the sun was too bright for watching the L-Cross impact. The public excitement about L-Cross has brought to mind the first Apollo moon landing, said Jason Kendall, a volunteer solar system ambassador of NASA. It's very evocative, he said. So the question is, could have or did have L cross crash into a dry hole? Scientists say it could be days or weeks for data transmitted by L cross were fully analyzed. If no evidence for lunar water is found, that will be a significant finding in itself, 
so NASA says. It could mean water doesn't exist on the moon, or that there's very little water, or that it's only patchy, like an old Texas wildcatter. We may have hit a dry hole, said NASA. Well, does that mean there's going to be another bombing or crash into the moon? Or do they only get one shot? I would say that is a legitimate question. Am I right? And is or can it be defined as being a success even if they found no water? But what if there is water but they just happen to hit a dry hole? And what does that mean? Like I say, is this only a one-time shot? It appears to be. So, is it a waste of money or is it not a waste of money? Well, nonetheless, I would have to say it's still a sign. Yes, it is a sign. And these are the end times transition days. And there are many different signs happening all around the world. Well, just like for today, President Obama wins a Nobel Peace Prize. But he's only been president for nine months. Well, and then the Dow Jones hit the high mark for the, for the year. And they bombed the moon all in one day. Nonetheless, it is what you would call an historic day in some kind of way. So, in essence, yes, it's still a sign. And there are many, many signs happening daily all around the world.